Well, it was a pretty soggy commute tonight in western Washington, but if you are tired of the rain, the good news is that the rain has left western Washington, and we're going to stay dry for about the next five, six, seven days or so. So a pretty significant dry stretch coming, uh, coming ahead, but I'll tell you more about that later. For now, let's look at the current temperature. We got 43 degrees, so a little bit chilly, but we're not going to get all that much colder tonight as we can expect lows to be in the upper 30s or so for most people. Got to 50 degrees today, so right around normal for this time of year, and this pattern is going to stick around for the next couple days or so. And you can see what I mean by the rain leaving our area. We just have a couple snow showers up around Stevens Pass right now, and that is really it. And for the rest of the night, we can expect maybe a couple pop-up showers or so. But really, we're going to be pretty dry tonight and tomorrow. And you can see that there's not a whole lot just to our west on the satellite image. A lot of open area right around here as this last storm system has left us. Now, there is a pretty significant storm system out to our west, but it is going to track way up to our north and is going to brush by us. So we're really not going to feel many effects from this system. Maybe a couple showers up around Bellingham in the northern part of the state. But for the most part, we're going to stay dry and partly sunny for the next five or six days or so. As for tomorrow, here's what to expect. We'll, we'll still be cloudy in the morning, couple showers, but by the time we get into the afternoon hours, things are going to clear up and dry out, and they are going to stay that way for a long time. And we can expect highs to be in the upper 40s tomorrow, close to 50 degrees if you are in the city. As for tonight's lows, like I said, we're looking at upper 30s for most people. We got 40 in Bellevue, 39 in Seattle, 38 in Bellingham. A couple of showers roaming around, but for the most part, just mostly cloudy. And for tomorrow's highs, we got 48 in Redmond, 49 in Bellevue, and 47 in Seattle. So we're looking right around 50 degrees, partly sunny skies for most people. 47 in Federal Way, 47 in Issaquah, and 48 degrees in Tacoma. And up around the Everett area, we can expect more of the same, maybe closer to the mid-40s. We got 46 in Lake Stevens, 46 in Everett, and 45 over in Muckleteo. And down uh, up in the foothills, we're looking at mid to upper 40s, 48 in North Bend, 46 in Carnation, 47 in Duval. Maybe some showers for you guys up there as you get closer to the mountains. And for the northwest interior, we're looking at 46 in Bellingham, 48 in Vancouver, and 46 in Victoria. A little bit warmer as you get to the southwest interior, closer to the Portland area. We're looking at 50 in Vancouver, 48 in Chehalis, and 52 degrees over in Long Beach. And as we get up into the mountains, we do still have a low snow level, so it will be snowing, not raining up in the mountains. But uh, for the eastern part of the state, at least, it is going to be dry and fairly mild for this time of year. 44 in Yakima, 44 in Wenatchee, and 42 degrees in Chelan. So not too bad of a day if you're looking for mild temperatures. So to recap, we got showers and a little bit breezy conditions tonight. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 40s or so. Then lingering showers tomorrow morning. And then partly sunny in the afternoon with highs approaching 50 degrees. So here's your extended forecast. And as you can see, the rain pretty much disappears after tomorrow. A couple showers on Monday, but other than that, well, that's the first sunny weekend I know I've seen in a long time. So if you're looking for sun, you are definitely going to enjoy this week. That's all for now. I'll be back in the next show to talk about your national weather picture. Well, it was definitely a gloomy start to your President's Day weekend today as there was plenty of rain around the area, but you can expect conditions to change very soon. More on that in a bit, but for now, let's take a look at what's going on tonight. We can expect lows in the upper 30s throughout western Washington. We got a low of 38 in Seattle tonight, 37 in Everett, and 36 degrees in Port Angeles. And you can expect those showers you're seeing right now to linger through about midnight or so before we start to clear things out. And by tomorrow morning, we're going to have plenty of sunshine and temperatures are going to climb to about 50 degrees by the afternoon. We got a high of 48 in Everett, 50 in Seattle, and 51 degrees in Tacoma. So we're definitely going to be seeing some milder temperatures tomorrow. And the same can be said for the mountains where the snow level is climbing up to 2,500 feet tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine, so a perfect day to go skiing. A perfect weekend, really, as we can expect these conditions to persist throughout the weekend. And it's not a bad weekend to travel over to eastern Washington as well, as they're experiencing some very mild temperatures right now. We got a high of 50 tomorrow in Yakima, 45 in Moses Lake, and 42 up in Omak. So mild weather really across the entire state. And as for the rest of the country, well, most of it's going to be pretty quiet, but there is a pretty significant storm system set to develop tomorrow around Texas and Oklahoma. So you can expect some travel delays if you're heading into Dallas or Oklahoma City. But other than that, the rest of the country is pretty quiet, so travel should be pretty smooth for most people. 
and we're looking at temperatures around the 50s, 60s, and upper 40s across the west tomorrow. And as you head over to the east coast, pretty mild down south, we got 57 degrees down in Raleigh, 41 in Washington, D.C., but a little bit cooler as you get up into the northeast with 34 degrees in New York City.